Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel project video tutorial, we will see that how we can edit the data and submit to the database also. All right. So in the previous video, as you know, we just uh, make a form and it will just open on the uh, icon click, and here you can see that data is already filled here. If you did not watch our previous video, you can get the link from the description box. Now, now, now let's uh, check out the points of this video. So first of all, we will uh, add a hidden field inside this form so that we can just send the ID as well as these three things also alright then we will make a post router and after that we will make a update function inside the controller and we will add the uh, alert also after just updating the result here we will see that database has been updated like this kind of message so now let's start so first of all I am just going to add a hidden field in the form so let's go inside the edit.plate.php file and just copy this uh, name or any field the name can be id here we don't need a form class so we can just remove it simply and the value will be the id and we don't need the placeholder also so it will be look like this but we just want to make a hidden form because we don't need to show it like this all right so now this field is here but this is invisible all right so after that we just have to send this data on a uh, edit uh, edit action all right but for that we also have to define this edit action so let's go on the web.php file and let's make a route with the edit but now this time it will be a post because we are just submitting the form and form should be inside the uh, post method because this is more secure and we will make update function also inside the uh, let's make it update all right inside the resto controller and here we can just uh, add the form here also uh, okay so let's make up add this function with the name of update and uh, here we don't need a new keyboard because we are using the find method in a scope resolution way and here we can just put here dollar request id all right so when it if it will find the id then it will update the name email id and address everything and we can just update the text here with the update uh, restaurant update successfully all right so now let's see now you can see that uh, on ID, ID of okay let's go on uh, again back so here you can see that the ohm suites on the sector 10 gurgaon so let's say we just want to change this sector 10 gurgaon to sector 120 in the gurgaon so let's come here and let's make here uh, sector 120 gurgaon alright and let's click on update now you can see that restaurant has been updated we can just close it from here as well as from the refresh and now you can just update this page and uh, ignore these things now you can see that sector 120 is updated as in address so this is the way that how we can edit the field if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel in the upcoming videos we will learn more things like let's say how we can search the products and uh, how we can log in how we can registration and much more things. So bye bye. Take care.